Hey consumers, welcome back to Amateur Consumption. I'm Isaac. And I'm Mary. This week on our Kirkland Wine Series, we're looking at a Rioja Reserva. So this specific uh, Rioja, well, all Rioja, comes from Spain. Um, but this one comes specifically from a Reserva region. And it is aged for 36 months in oak. Um, a long time. Yeah, so we've been drinking a lot more Rioja recently, but mostly Crianza, which is the young Rioja. So I think Crianza is usually only aged in oak, maybe like 12 months. Um, Max. Yeah. So the Reserva, this is definitely going to be a little bit different. Um, it is a 2013, um, so it has seen some time in the bottle to kind of mellow out and calm down a little. Um, mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah, um, and it comes in at 13 and a half alcohol percentage, so actually not too high for something that's been aged for that long. Um, pretty normal alcohol percentage, I would say. Color-wise, it's not super translucent, no. like pretty opaque, but not not as opaque as yeah. some wine, kind of in the middle. Like a ruby red color. Um. Yeah nothing too different about it. Yep. Lines wise. Has some nice lines. Yep. Nothing crazy though. Mm -mm. Cool. First thing I smell, it smells smoky. It smells like you're maybe walking into a, a cigar humidor. Yeah, it um, reminds me of cigars a lot. Yeah, this smells very, very smoky. I think some vanilla. Yeah, almost like it's almost like they're also making baked goods in the humidor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's very interesting. But it also kind of makes sense, too, because if you think of some of the smells that you get from a cigar, you can get like vanilla, you can get cinnamon, yeah. nutmeg. Those are the same smells that you get with baking, right. which is also what you get from oak most of the time. Yeah. So. But, <laughs> and like, to make a clarification, this doesn't smell like tobacco. This smells like the smoke yeah. that you would smell from tobacco. So, which are two different, two different profiles there. You get some uh, dark fruit smells too. Like I definitely get some dark cherry in there. But I feel like they're definitely secondary to those those smells of smoke and, and vanilla. Yeah. All right. Let's give it a taste. taste. It's super smooth. Yeah, but I don't necessarily know if I'm happy about it. I feel like usually with the Reserva, with the older Riojas, there's more to them than this. And I don't think that it's a result of it being too young. I think it's just a result of the wine that this one is. Maybe it's just a little bit lower quality than a typical Reserva. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, it also says it's 100% Tempranillo, and I, I would have to do more research, but I think that sometimes they throw in um, maybe like 10% of other grapes, which also Some might be a grapes. contributing factor with this one being just kind of plain. That second drink was a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, maybe giving it some time to air would, would benefit this wine. I agree. Maybe it's a little tight. Yeah, it feels like it's gotten like more complex. In, just in 30 seconds. Yeah. Maybe just as our... Maybe it is the youngness. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm yeah. not thinking. Um, but the taste, I think, lines up with the smell yeah. a lot in this sense. Um, you get some smokiness, the vanilla, and some of that I dark even, fruit. I even get some acidity in there. It's good. It's smooth. It's not very tannic. Yeah. Um, I don't have any complaints about it. Um, I just don't know if I'm excited. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I feel like with grapes that are old world, it's also one of those situations where you might be able to find something at the same price point because it's old world that you might enjoy better, it might be more complex. It just depends on your taste preferences as well. Yeah. Um, versus if I was tasting a cab for, what was this, we said $6.99? Yeah, so if I had a six ninety nine cab and it was like on my scale of Riojas, say this is here, and if it was, you know, same scale for cabs, if a cab was there, I feel like I'd be more excited. Yeah. Then I think it's like because it's a Rioja, I'm like, 
oh, well, maybe I could find something that I'd like better for, you know, $2 more versus... Sure. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I feel like the upper end of Riojas um, is a tighter group. Yeah. And so the sooner you fall out of that top 80% in terms of like, unless it's an 8 out of 10 Rioja, it's not something you're really excited about. Where if it was an 8 out of 10 cab, it'd be like, oh man, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like we hold them almost to a higher standard. Right. Yeah. The 36 months in oak does make me wonder why. Um, I feel like I don't, I don't taste 36 months in oak. If you handed me this glass and said, hey, 36 months in oak, I'd be like, you're, you're lying. Um, <laughs> So I don't really know what the purpose of it is if I can't taste it. I get a good amount of oak in there, in my taste profile. I get it in the smell and I get it in... I get it in the smell, but I feel like I don't get it in the taste at all. Oh, I get it in the taste and I think it balances it out a lot. Like, I've had a few wines where I've tasted them and it's like, oh, that's way too much oak. Like, it's not what I want. Yeah. Um, this is not the case. I think the oak is uh, very balanced with the taste. But I think this is a wine that, as I mentioned, could benefit from some of the linen grapes a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Food-wise, I think, as is typical with Rioja in general, and a lot of those old world wines, they tend to go with a lot of different food. Um, so if you think about, like when we were in Spain, we talk about this all the time, and you know, Rioja goes with a large variety of food, because that's if you're eating tapas, if you're eating a variety. Uh, and I think that's true here. I think it would pair well with a lot of different things. But also, like, when I really think about it, I think about this with, like, penne al vodka or, like, a spaghetti bolognese. Um, really? You, mm -hmm. you pair it with Italian food? Yeah, of course. I think it goes well with a red, a red sauce pasta. Um, I think that's right where it sits. It can go me. well. So, from a rating perspective, I think for me, I would give this a six. Um, as a wine, I think it falls above average. As a Rioja, it's probably more on the average, even maybe a little below average for me, but as a wine itself, I'm, I'm gonna go with a six. I agree with you, um, but I'm leaning a little bit more heavy on the fact that it's Rioja, so I'm gonna rate it a five. Okay. Um, I find it to be right middle of the road, not super excited about it, but it's not. I'm not disappointed that it's in my glass, um, so. Yeah, that's for sure. Ball. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Kirkland Review. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe for more. And we'll see you on Wednesday for another malt beverage review. Drink more wine.